Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So today I have a full booty workout for you guys that I'm going to be doing a very in-depth voiceover so you guys can get some tips on form and stuff like that. So don't forget to subscribe so you can see any future videos and continue watching to get the workout. We just made it to the gym. You can't see it, but it's behind me. Um, there are so many vehicles here. Even though I've been going to the gym forever, I still don't like when there's that many people. And I'm not gonna lie about it. Like I really don't like it, but I'm still gonna go get it in. You guys are gonna come with me. And we are gonna crush it. Let's go. I forgot to record it, but I did end up doing a warm up on the treadmill for five minutes on an incline of six just to get my body a little bit warmed up before we got into it. Banded RDL. So, as you can see, I'm just getting into a long band that I have wrapped around the squat rack, bringing the band so it comes right at those hip bones, stepping forward until you feel that resistant band starting to work against you. For our stance, we're going to have the feet hip width apart. The toes are slightly angled out. All of the weight should be bearing in those heels. You should be able to flutter through those toes. As you start, you're going to allow the shoulder blades to roll down the back to keep that chest nice and open. You're going to inhale, slowly lower the kettlebell down as you press the bum back behind you, keeping a slight micro bend into those knees. And as you exhale, think about squeezing and wrapping those glutes around as you slightly thrust forward you don't want to arc through the back you just want to keep that tension in the glutes the whole entire time and as you move through these rdls you want to make sure that you keep that back flat the whole entire time this is by far one of my favorite exercises it's our barbell hip thrusters so for the setup, I am using the aerobic step ups. I have five per side. It works perfectly for me. It comes directly underneath those lats, about halfway point to your back, and that's what you want. You might have to play around with it depending on your height. For the feet, you want to keep all and majority of that weight into the heels. The toes are gonna slightly angle out and they're going to be hip width apart. As you inhale, you're going to lift the weight up, tuck through that tailbone, keep that chin tucked in, the core is engaged. The reason why we tuck through our tailbone is so that we can bear most of the weight in the glutes instead of the lower back possibly taking over. Um, and as you exhale, you're gonna slowly lower the weight down. You don't want to just slam the weight down. You do want to have control over the weight that you are pushing. Um, in my bio, I will link the pad that I am using so that it doesn't bruise my hips. That is also key to making sure that you can push more weight is having that pad. Elevated Bulgarian split squats. So for this, you are going to need to have a little bit of height for that front foot and a bench behind you. And I grabbed a kettlebell for the weight. But for the setup, it's super important. You'll kind of see me doing it here. So I put the leading foot that I'm going to use on the elevation, having the weight planted in my heel. And then I'm going to step back and make sure that knee is allowing my back foot to be completely planted on the top of the bench. And since it wasn't, I moved it up a little bit. You can also play around with how you want that back foot to be planted on the bench, whether you want the top of the foot on there or maybe tucking through the toes. This kind of comes down to a personal preference. I found, honestly, this is what works best for me, but it might not work best for you. For the setup and getting ready into the position, you're gonna roll the shoulder blades down the back 
and you're gonna take a nice big breath in as you come down slightly hinge at the hips you don't want the chest nice and upright it puts more tension on that quad rather than when you hinge at the hips it allows the glutes to take over a little bit more as long as you keep that weight in the heel of the front foot um, and as you exhale that's when you're gonna come up the exhale I find is the most important part because you're gonna slowly come up and you're gonna think about wrapping those glutes around as you keep that tension in that front heel. Last thing, as always, you are going to keep that core super tight during this whole movement. Pretty much any exercise, you want a nice tight core. Elevated goblet squat. So you're gonna grab a free weight placing the heels onto that free weight. The feet are going to be hip width apart. The toes are slightly pointed outwards. You are going to make sure that you tuck through that tailbone before you do anything. I don't want you to push that bum back. So tuck through the tailbone, roll the shoulder blades down the back, bring a kettlebell or dumbbell close into your chest, and you're gonna inhale, sit that bum down. And as you exhale, really think about squeezing the glutes as you come up keeping that core super tight again you don't want to push the bum back you're imagining it as if you're pulling a string from the top of your head all the way down you want to have that nice straight line lots of people say to push the bum back but you only do that when you're completing a deadlift cable glute pull throughs so for this obviously you are going to come to a cable you're going to grab a rope attachment you're going to take one step forward you want to be relatively close to the cable but kind of still far away that you can still use that tension from the cable so for the setup you are going to have like a regular deadlift the feet are hip width apart you're going to roll the shoulder blades down the back have a micro bend in that knee and then as you inhale you're going to press the bum back lower the chest down looking directly down and then as you exhale, you're going to thrust forward. Think about going relatively slow so you can squeeze only and solely through those glutes instead of the hamstring starting to take over. Um, but as always, keep that core tight and keep the weight in the heels. watched this far thank you so much for watching and supporting me um, be sure to leave a like below as well as a comment to any future videos that you would like to see whether it's a haul workout full day of eating just all of the things that you would like to see from me leave them down below and again thank you for watching